hey students, I'm really not sure if this is gonna work how we want it to work, but we're gonna just try this out. Uh, first of all, I miss you guys so much, and this is our new normal, and I know it's weird and maybe even uncomfortable, but we're gonna get through it together, and I know that we can. Um, so yes, I miss you guys. Uh, I most miss being at school away from my own children and being with you guys. Uh, and being able to teach you, but we're all just gonna get through all of this fun um, challenge that we have in front of us. So, um, you know, we like to start with good things. I have a good thing slash funny for you, and those of you that, you know, actually have me in class, this makes perfect sense. So I started my spring break out with um, a speeding ticket, um, and so that was kind of fun, like literally like a few days into spring break, I have to deal with the speeding ticket, and I knew that some of you I uh, would at least laugh at that. Um, so this is our new normal and this is our plan and it's an evolving plan and we're just gonna keep rolling with it. Things will come up. We're gonna have to be flexible and patient and when we have um, issues or concerns or things not working correctly on class, uh, Google Classroom, we're just gonna roll with the punches and get that assistance from me as it, um, it comes up, okay? So first of all, this is a good time to kind of tune in your parents and get everybody on the same page as far as um, what has been communicated and what our plan is. So I'm gonna kind of just briefly go over that. So um, first of all, our first line of defense is definitely Remind 101 and um, emailing me. Um, so even your parents probably need to be on Remind 101 at this point. That way they can easily um, shoot me a message and I can get back to them. If that's easier for them to do than email, and I probably think it is, then make sure we get them signed up as well. So it just depends on what period you're in. So of course, if you're in honors or third or sixth period, you're gonna have a different Remind code. Most of you are in that uh, Remind already. So at this point, I just need you to help you, get, I need you to help your parents get on. Um, so you can either do the app or you could just um, do the text notifications. Basically just go to a new text message and you're gonna text the phone number 81010 and then your um, message um, for honors is at sign PAP Bryant. And then of course, if you're in second, fourth or seventh, same thing, your, um, your code or your class is at Bio Bryant, or again, just text 81010 and your message is at Bio Bryant. Sometimes it kind of gives you some prompts like, who are you, um, are you a student, parent, whatever. So just ask those questions if they do come up. Um, also wanted to talk to you about email. So you now have um, your e email accounts enabled, which means in the past you've had email, but you've never been able to access it. Due to all this um, new stuff, you now can access it. So I'm gonna stop the screen for just a second, and I'm gonna show you what that would look like on email, on your email. So hold on one second. Okay, so at this point, I hope that you can see the school website. Of course, that's just bsisd.esc18.net. I wanted to point out to you a few things here. So um, at the top right corner where it says our schools, there's a plus sign and you could click that. Let me move myself out of the way for a second. And you can access just our high school campus website. So that's gonna be one uh, resource for you guys there. Okay, there's also a tab here at the top that says online instruction. This is a new tab that was not there um, a few days ago, basically. So when you click on online information, instruction information, that is where you're gonna get some how-to on Google Classroom. That's for you and your parents. Uh, maybe how-to on email, if mine doesn't help you in a second. Now, if we're having any kind of technical issues or, um, need help there, the online instruction technology help form will help you and that will go to our tech department or our technology department. So I'm gonna just briefly show you the email. So maybe you don't have to kind of scroll through and read all that fun stuff. If you scroll down, so I just went to the website and I scrolled down, maybe a little too much. Right here in the corner, it says webmail. I hope you're seeing this. Let me see if I can do something fun here. I think I can draw on the screen. Okay, that was a terrible circle, but y'all know that I can't draw. 
And now you're thinking, oh, I really do miss Bryant, miss Miss Bryant, because she really can't draw, and I make I miss making fun of her. So I have a circle down in your um, in the corner for you. So um, webmail, and when you click on uh, webmail, now I'm gonna have to move this again. This is where it may already default to an Outlook account you have. So mine is defaulting to uh, Coach Bryant's and we don't need that. So we just need to use another account. And this is where you're gonna email, uh, log in with your student ID as if you were logging into your Chromebook at school or you're logging into your Google Classroom from home. So I just put in one, two, three, four, five, six. Of course you put in your student ID and then at sign bsisd.esc18.net, okay? So I can't, I don't actually have a student ID to kind of show you how this works, but once you hit next, it's gonna prompt you for your password. Your password is maybe what you changed it to if you changed it on the Chromebooks recently, um, or maybe even your Google Classroom account. Um, but more than likely, it's probably that default password that we've been using then that we have, which is uh, BSISD 2019 with your capital B. So once you type in your student ID and your full email address, like I have it on the screen, hit next, enter your password, and it's gonna open up your email. So now you have access to email your teachers, email your parents, um, your, um, you, you have your own school email activated now, okay? Um, and if you do have more questions about that and those online resources don't help you, then just reach out to me and I'll try to walk you through what I can as well. Okay, I'm going to go back to another screen share. So hold on just a second. This is this Zoom stuff is so fun, guys, because I can toggle screens and show you what I'm seeing and make it look like what I need it to look like. So I think you uh, thank you for being patient for me for going back and forth on this. Okay, so we're back. We talked about um, how you have your own email. You talked about where mine. Those are what I call our first line of defense, um, the way that we can communicate with each other um, in a fast and efficient manner. And we talked about your school email and now you know how to do it. Now I wanna to talk to you about our plan in place. And I know this is the crummy picture, but I kind of stole it off uh, one of the Facebook pages or one of um, maybe even the, high, the district and the high school um, website. This information went out to your parents via an all call and um, also plastered on those things that we talked about. But option one basically is Google Classroom. So if you have internet access at home and you have a computer or you're gonna be able to do that from your phone or tablet, um, option one is your option. So you're gonna complete all of your assignments on Google Classroom, turn them in on Google Classroom. Option two is maybe you don't have internet or you don't have a computer. Um, you're going to be able to pick up hard copy packets in the high school main office. Uh, your pickup days are Monday, which means you pick up on Monday and then you turn back in the next Monday and you get your new packet. Um, and then of course they kind of threw in an extra option for you, option three, if you just need a place to work on internet, maybe you can do option one or Google Classroom, but you need a place to work on internet. Um, that is an option as well. Now this is ever changing. I know that there's probably, they're probably working on a plan as far as maybe even, you know, checking out um, a material to you like a Chromebook or uh, maybe making sure the Wi-Fi is turned on for everybody without a password. Um, that way that if you just have a device and you need internet, you'll have that option. So just stay tuned for all of that um, changing information. Okay, guys. So here's um, like the assignment information. Okay. So this is for you and your parents, so sometimes I kind of wrote it to your parents so it says your child, but you guys will get two assignments per week in all your core classes. So math, English, science, and history. Now foreign language also counts there too. So if you get on Google Classroom and you look overwhelmed like you do when you look in my classroom, and we'll talk about that in a minute, then you do not need to panic because you should only have two assignments per week, okay? And this is the first week, Monday the 23rd is when we're starting this new thing, okay? Um, and your electives or non-core CTE classes, maybe choir, band, whatever, you should only have one assignment per week, okay? So at most, maybe you have 11 or 12 assignments total a week and that's it. Not 11 or 12 a day or several a day, okay? Um, and I just kinda wanted to hit some due dates or time frames with you. 
So my option one kids, yes, some of you saw your assignments posted on Thursday. Some of you has already started working on it. You got a jump start on it. That's awesome. That's amazing. That's great. Uh, that just means you got a little extra time than everybody else. But once we get in the groove here, I will post on Thursdays to Google Classroom. They will be due the next Thursday at midnight. Okay, or I think it says 11.59 p.m. My hard copy option to students who get a hard copy, they will pick up their hard copy on Monday. They will turn in their hard copy the next Monday and pick up the next Monday's assignments or the next week assignments, okay? And I know that they have pa uh, packet pickup times from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Um, so that information may change, but as of right now, this, that's what it is, okay? Um, this is just some more be in the know kind of information, um, just to make sure you and your parents have all the resources that you guys need. So you can see on the screen, we have our YouTube channel. You can subscribe to that. You can show your parents how to subscribe to it. I know Mr. Richie is learning and he is, um, going to start posting more announcements or videos for you. And I know that he's posted a few already just directed to you guys. Um, so that's a great resource. Um, I showed you that online help and resource while ago, but you can kind of see it on the screen of how it would look like on the website. We have our district website, which we were on while ago. And then we have our campus website, which I showed you how to get to by hitting the plus sign. Um, this one in the top corner talks about teacher contact. So there's this pretty cool app that we threw together and let's say you have a teacher that never had a Google Classroom set up and never had a Remind set up, but because of all this, they all of a sudden do. So you can go to that directory. So you can uh, copy and paste that link. Um, or not really copy and paste, but go to that. It's also on the Facebook pages. So if your parents can at least get on Facebook, then you could maybe copy and paste. You click on that and it's an interactive app. So I may ask you your email, feel free to use your school email and then it may send you a passcode and that's just for security. So once you actually get in the system, which takes just a few seconds, then you may be able to go to the top and type in your teacher's last name. Um, so let's say you're just looking for um, Mr. Scarborough, okay? You can type in Scarborough at the top and it's gonna pull up his new directory of information. So his newly assigned Google Classrooms if you're not on there. If he has set up a Remind for you or he has a website set up for you or just even his email, it is all there for you and your parents. So it's a nice convenient tool that, um, that you guys have available. Of course, you have the Facebook pages um, and the, the, for the high school and for the district and you can like and follow um, to make sure you're getting all the notifications there. Okay, now let's talk about Google Classroom. Um, my biggest thing is I did not realize what a mess my Google Classroom was. Okay, so first of all, I apologize, and I want to make sure that um, you guys are not overwhelmed at any point, and so I'm still working on cleaning that up and fixing it, but I know what it used to look like, and so do you, where there's just assignments, and even the old stuff was not disappearing, okay? So if you can look at the screen, and um, this is what it should look like very soon if it doesn't already. You're gonna have a week by week um, chunk or topic, okay? Um, so these are the only assignments you need to worry about for this week. So it actually says March 23rd through um, March 27th, week one COVID plan. You have a part one and then a part two. You understand that we have two assignments per week, so I just called it part one, part two. They do go numerically, so please complete part one before you complete part two. Now, every now and then it might have something different like this question mark at the top and it says how are you doing okay that is not an assignment but it's just an additional thing that um, I have posed to you just as a question so no it might not be for a grade um, but just complete those as you see them it just kind of helps me check on um, you guys or you guys check on me or whatever the case may be and now I will also be putting a lot of resources or references out there so if we see the um, clipboard, um, let's assume that those are assignments, okay? If we see a question mark or something different, let's assume that those are resources that may help you um, and just know the difference between assignments and those resources or questions that I may post out there for you, okay? So yes, it was a hot mess. I fixed it, I think, um, or it will be fixed shortly, okay? 
um, you only have two assignments, part one, part two, let's complete part one first. Um, I'm gonna backtrack just for a second on the assignments that we were talking about earlier. Um, I think I can go back to um, the previous slides maybe. Okay, here we go. So when we were talking about the two assignments, and I'm sorry, I had to backtrack for a second, but I think it's important clarification for me to make here. Um, TEA has placed a new mandate on us. My kids, we know that we always talk about that STAR test and the EOC, and that's our big push, and that's our big goal for the year. And no, I'm, I don't think I'm gonna cry, but I might. Um, they have taken that out of our hands and waived that this year um, due to COVID and all the new things that we're dealing with. So no, you no longer have to take a STAR test in math, English, or algebra, English one, um, or for my sophomores, it may be English too, U.S. history or biology, but there's an if there, okay? So they are going to waive that STAR test for you if you receive your biology credit or your class credit for those others I mentioned for the academic year. That means you're in my class right now, you receive your credit, that means you had a 70 or above on semester one and you're gonna end with a 70 or above, you get your credit, you have your STAR test waived, okay? That's great news for you. It's literally a free check mark kind of thing. You've been waived, you get to pass, you get to move on, and you get your credit, but that's the deal breaker there. You have to get your credit. That's why these two assignments um, per week are so critical, okay? So, and that's my goal here, is to make sure all my kids get their credit, just like my goal is for all of you to pass your STAR test. So I just kinda, um, it, implemented something different in my goal this year, okay? But that's awesome, amazing um, information for you that I hope that you have that sigh of relief, like, whew, I do not have to pass my STAR test. I just got to get my credits and I only have two assignments per week to worry about. Um, you know, maybe that's from now to the end of the school year or that's now until April 3rd. So we'll work on that plan um, as it changes, okay? So let me see, where was I? Oh my goodness, my to draw on the screen. I don't want to do that. Okay, so we talked about um, Google Classroom and how uh, under overwhelming I hope it is or underwhelming I hope it is. Um, the last thing I want to talk to you about is Zoom. Okay, so I'm learning Zoom, but I'm going to push out some more information on Google Classroom on some how to's, what you need. Zoom is so cool because we have a lot of options. So I have an option for kids that do not have internet. You can actually call in and just listen to the information. Uh, number two, uh, maybe you do have internet, but uh, you wanna be able to access through a smartphone. Awesome, we can do that too. It's basically a giant video conference at that point. Maybe you don't wanna participate. Sometimes I like to just cover my camera up with a sticky note on my Zoom meetings with my team at times. And so you can do that. I just need you to be able to see me, hear me, maybe hear everybody else's questions that come up. And then of course we have the computer option. You know, if you have a computer, you have a tablet and you want, you're ready to Zoom. My purpose with Zoom is those of us that are having trouble with the content or how to complete our assignments. Google Classroom is awesome, but at the same time, we haven't been able to implement, we've done a lot of forms, we've done a lot of quizzes, but we haven't had a lot of time to do the docs and the slides and different things. So I wanna be able to um, get on and the Zooms give, Zoom gives us this option where I can get on, I can share my screen, you can share your screen, we can walk each other through what we're seeing and how to do it. Uh, and maybe it's just the content. Maybe I just don't understand what I learned from that PowerPoint or from those notes. And so you kinda of need me for that, okay? I'm kinda of bored, bored out of my mind um, at home and this kind of gives me my chance to be able to still get on with you and interact with you. I know I Zoomed a couple of kids and I could have cried when I got to finally Zoom them because number one, I got to see your face. Um, and it just did my heart and my soul like a, a world of good to be able to see my kids. So I want to be able to do that with you guys. So um, if you're needing assistance, let's wait till tomorrow. Let's not do any more bio work until tomorrow at four. And then let's kind of get on together and. Let's help each other out. You may have the same question that somebody else has. So when we all get on on Zoom, um, we can kind of help each other out. 
there's going to be a lot of just kind of learning as we go. And that's what we're doing at this point. And that's all I've been doing those, these last few days is learning how to implement new resources for you guys to keep being able to talk and interact and engage with you at home. And um, Zoom's going to be that um, option for us. So I'll see you tomorrow at four. For those of you that are going to Zoom later this evening, um, or maybe even tomorrow morning before you before we try to Zoom at four, for those of us that need it, um, we'll have some resources posted on Google Classroom. And I'll probably push everything out on our mind too, like, hey, I posted here. So that's why um, Remind will be still be our first line of defense. Um, oh, and by the way, but when we Zoom, you may uh, be able to teach me some stuff too, because that's what happened the other day when I Zoomed a student. They kind of showed me the wreck of my Google Classroom and uh, we worked through some things. I kind of got to go see other classes. And then that's when I realized that you could kind of put it in different folders or, or, or chunk the content. So I, I'm very thankful for that student for kind of teaching me something there. Um, so our plan right now, and I, I hope that this it sticks and um, you know we are able to do this, but our plan is on April 6th, we will go back to normal school. Um, the governor has um, said that we cannot return to school till April 3rd. So I'm hoping Monday, April 6th, we'll be back in room 113 and we'll be rocking with biology. Um, but we just don't know. So I just need you to be flexible during this time and I need you to be patient and things are gonna come up and we're gonna have questions and we can work through them together, okay? Just like things came up on my Google Classroom and we're gonna work through them together. Um, I want you to know that I will do everything and anything for you guys to be successful at this. And please do not feel that your grade is in jeopardy because you're having trouble with the resource or you're having trouble with the content. As long as I know that you're trying, which means you're emailing me, you're sending me remind information, you're sending me text via remind saying, Miss Brian, Miss Brian, help, help, help. I will not under any circumstance fail you for that. I will not jeopardize your grade at this point for any student as long as I know you're trying. Okay, so let's just make sure if you are stuck, don't just sit there and don't say anything, okay, because then your grade will be in jeopardy. But let's just let me know that you're trying, you're having difficulties, and we can get through it. I know we can. So we're all in this together. I love you guys, and I miss you all so much, um, and I hope to see you soon. Thank you, guys.